All right, so today the uh, designer's notes have been uh, released, so we kind of get an insight as to why certain operators have been nerfed and which ones are getting buffed. So for the first half of the video, I'm just going to be re uh, reading off their reasons why they were nerfing and buffing certain operators. And the second half, uh, I'm going to be looking at the charts and, you know, my analysis and my thoughts on it. So if you just want to skip to that part, I'll leave timestamps in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, let's start. Also, I won't be reading off the changes. I did a video covering that already. So if you want to see that, uh, card will be in the top right. So starting off with Kavira. Uh, we were trying to make her less frustrating to play against and reduce her power level at low to medium levels. Learning the damage, the number of bullets that need to hit the chest of an enemy to put them in a down but not out state should be the same as before, but we reduce the penalty of being hit by one shot. Thanks to this, we can also normalize the falloff curve to be more consistent with other pistols, which gives Kavira increased range and versatility. With the changes to the recall and hit fire, we also want to reinforce the hunter aspect of the character force her to approach silently to her prey and be precise to guarantee the kill. With this in mind, uh, we've made the aforementioned adjustments to the recoil and hit fire experience. Moving on on to Kaid. Kaid is performing below our expectations. We want to take a deep look in the future to make him more attractive for the utility and creativity that he brings to the team. For now, the ADS of the AUG A3 was too slow, closer to an assault rifle than an SMG. This change should help him to win more gunfights. I highly doubt it. They need to buff that uh, damage a little bit. Uh, when it comes to Rook and Doc, uh, they nerfed the MP5. Rook has the highest wind delta for the defenders, and Doc is trending the same way. With a wind delta that increases season over season, we want to slightly reduce their power without changing how, e uh, how it feels to play them. And down to Clash, we are not satisfied with the current state of Clash. She has been underperforming, and the latest updates did not improve that situation. Uh, we believe that she is the operator that needs quality team support for the most, which makes her too weak when there is no backup, especially when outnumbered. By changing the fire mode of basically her uh, the automatic sidearm to full auto and increasing its damage, our goal is to help improve her performance when encountering these kinds of situations. At the same time, these changes come with a new recoil alignment that will bring uh, the SMG behavior closer to the rest of the machine pistols. And lastly, we have something about Lion progress is being made on the Lion rework. We have tested and validated the design changes that we would like to implement and are in the process of tightening up the parameters as well as UI and audio feedback. We will have more information available for you during the 6 Invitational. So that is it uh, for, you know, why they're buffing and nerfing certain operators. So now let's take a look at the charts. Uh, I think I'm going to start off with the defenders. So first of all, look at Rook and Doc over here. For those of you who don't know how this chart works, you see uh, that little axis there. Uh, from 1 to about minus 1.5, that's their sweet spot. So the devs like to keep uh, operators around that circle. If they stray too far to in any direction, they're either going to get a buff or a nerf. And yeah, look at Rook and Doc. They are pretty far away from that circle. Rook uh, having the highest uh, win rate. And like they said, Doc is on his way up there. That's why I'm not even surprised. From the time I saw that nerf for them, um, I, I wasn't shocked at all. I was like, I completely understand because uh, they're, they're pretty strong. They're not OP, but they're pretty strong and they're very versatile. I mean, if you look at both Doc and Rook combined, uh, you have the the Rook armor. Doc can heal teammates over heal himself. He now has the uh, bulletproof camera. Rook has impact grenades. So overall, they have pretty strong uh utility and firepower also they have acogs so yeah that that <laughs> that adds to it a lot they're the ones doing the spawn peaking now but um when it comes to their guns they i i love the mp5 uh, it's almost a guaranteed kill if you pick those operators so i i'm not really shocked that they're getting nerfed but the problem that everyone has look at Kavira right there uh with the 1.5 uh what is it? Win Delta? Her pick rate is not that high, but when she is picked, ye you're gonna win. And that's why I'm glad she's being nursed, but uh, I already did a video covering that. Um, because it's, it's just so easy to win with her. And, well, you know, people are probably gonna go and dislike this video because I said that now, but I don't really give a fuck. I said I was gonna do a video covering the Kavira changes, but I'm busy, so I can't do that. But what I can do is show the side by side comparisons right now for before and after. And after playing with her uh, on a bit for the TTS, just like experimenting, um, I'm I'm okay with these changes now. I think she's in a much better place here. Like I said, the skill uh, skill required to play her has gone up, which I like, so it shouldn't be that easy to just pick up kills with her. 
Um, the recoil is not that bad. I've I've been seeing people comment saying uh, they think Ubisoft is gonna take the recoil thing a bit too far, but no, um, it is not as easy as it is now to control, and it's not as bad as before the patch to the pistol recoil. So yeah, I think she's in a good place right here. I actually wouldn't be that mad if I got killed by a Caverna, no, because you know what I mean. Like I feel like it requires a little bit of skill to play her now. So yeah, moving on. Let's look at the um the other end of the chart. Actually, this is what's surprising. Castle and Tachanka are at the bottom, which is no surprise. But look at Clash. She goes past the minus three, minus ten point nine percent. So that's why they're buffing her, trying to make her more attractive to players. Probably make uh, that's why they made her. Machine pistol full auto instead of a uh, two round burst, but I don't know. To me, class just isn't fun to play. Like even even though her machine pistol is no full auto, she just isn't fun to play. That's probably why I will never pick her. But um, to those I guess few clash mains out there, they'll probably be happy for this. Um, a worrying thing though is that Jaeger is to the far right. He like stretches the furthest outside of that um, that sweet spot area. So could we see a potential Jaeger nerf in the future, or is this a case where it's like Ash? Like she isn't too overpowered, but she just she's like a fun pick, so everyone likes to pick her. Is this the case with Jaeger now, or do you think uh, we'll get a potential Jaeger nerf in the future? I'll leave a card up top so you can vote on that. Uh, moving over on the attackers now. The attacker's chart looks very different. Uh, the first thing you notice is that everyone is grouped uh, more together, so it seems like all of the attackers seem to, to get uh, played somewhat evenly. But these four uh, attackers here are kind of standing out, and I'm worried for Blackbeard the most um, because it's just like, like I said, you, you, stre you stretch too far outside that circle, you're gonna get nerfed. Um, what more could they possibly do to Blackbeard? And they nerfed Finca. She just dropped, uh, it looks like 0.5% because before she was at the top at 3%. So that's why they gave her frags. And she dropped for a bit, but it seems like she's going back up to the top. So we may see another nerf for her. Twitch is kind of surprising, but I guess I can see a nerf coming to her F2 soon. And Ash, uh, like I said, Ash is just a fan favorite so everyone's gonna constantly pick her so they said um, they won't nerf her yet until they figure out what to do because it doesn't seem like she's overpowered right now but it just seems everyone likes to play her so that's why she hasn't been nerfed yet but like I said Blackbeard is slowly getting back up there so if he gets another nerf is like how would they possibly nerf him without killing him uh, and I don't think they can. I think eventually they're gonna do a patch that will kill Blackbeard, that will make him completely useless and unplayable. Um, and the last thing I find surprising is Blitz being down here. Um, because, you know, pretty much everyone's getting tormented by Blitz, but it doesn't look like his win or pick rate is that high at this level of play, so it doesn't look like uh, we'll be seeing a Blitz nerf anytime soon. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you found this helpful, you can leave a like and comment down below what are your thoughts on uh, the charts. Who do you think is going to be nerfed and uh, who do you think needs a buff? I'll be interested to uh, see what you guys' thoughts are on that. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.